dear friends of Maua Hospital, I take this opportunity to bring you greetings from the Maua Methodist Hospital community and to share with you a little bit about the beginnings of this medical ministry to tell you where we are now and some of our thoughts for the future. In the year 1918, in the annual report for East African District of the Methodist Church, Reverend Griffin wrote regarding the, the need for a medical ministry. It was realized that uh, ministering to people's physical needs would actually make it um, easier for people to receive the message of salvation. It would appear that um, not much happened until 1928 when the Methodist Church decided to send Dr. Bransington to open a Methodist hospital in Maua area, um, not too far from the current site of Maua Methodist Hospital. Now, a 50 bed facility was built and it was given the name Burnsford Memorial Hospital in honor of a family that gave a significant donation towards the construction of that facility. The hospital was officially opened on the 15th of July, the year 1930, and um, it continued to serve people in that area uh, for, for a long time. There's some interesting facts about uh, how medical bills, medical bills were settled at that time. Um, the economy was not uh, monetary, and people used to pay their medical bills using food staffs, and the food staffs were used to feed the patients in the ward. Um, Dr. Gerard, um, who came um, later to take over from Dr. Rasington, um, was also um, a, a reverend, a chaplain, and um, he helped to, to start the chapel in, the, in 1940. And um, he, together with his wife, they also planted the jacaranda trees, which are um, a landmark um, at the entry of the hospital. Um, now, later on, Dr. Stanley Bell and his wife Margaret in the 1950s started training a training program for healthcare workers. Uh, a landmark um, development is the, that the, the first uh, surgery, cesarean section, was done at the hospital in 1942. Um, later on, in 1977, a training program was started for training nurses, uh, uh, giving them the award of certificate of enrollment. Um, other development in um, nursing training occurred in 1996 when uh, the School of Nursing started training uh, diploma level um, Kenya registered community health nurses. The Kenya Methodist um, Church became autonomous in the year 1964 and um, the hospital was renamed Maua Methodist Hospital in 1964. Now, when the hospital was marking the 50th anniversary since its founding um, in the year 1980, 3,000 babies were being delivered at the hospital during one year. And the hospital had seven qualified nurses and um, at least one doctor on its service. Um, however, communicable diseases were uh, still prevalent in the surrounding community. Some of the senior staff who served uh, at the hospital over the years include uh, Sister Marty Tolly, uh, Dr. Adrian Gordy and his wife Judith, Dr. John Haboto, Dr. Sharon and um, Lynn Fogman, who still regularly visit the hospital once in a while, uh, Dr. Mark Frey, um, also started the dental unit. Then we have uh, Dr. Claire Smithson, who is a long-term serving missionary, um, 
CEO and the staff of Mawa Hospital. We also had the, uh, Dr. Uh, Ditma and his wife, uh, Bridget Sigler, and um, other people include Dr. Samuel Mwenda, who is currently uh, the leader of um, Christian Health Association in Kenya. Uh, we also have uh, Beo and Jerry, his late wife, Jerry Sabuto, Reverend Jim Monro and his wife, Sue, among other people. At the present, we have um, on staff at least eight uh, nurses. We have uh, at least a dozen doctors, including five uh, medical specialists. And uh, we have many other healthcare professionals. Um, we have also recently received ISO certification in our laboratory services. And um, uh, for the future, we are really hoping that we can develop um, in response to the community health needs uh, to provide specialized healthcare services um, and also uh, including ICU and um, renal dialysis and other modern um, facilities. We also realize that uh, lifestyle diseases which were not common a long time ago in the community such as diabetes and cancer, uh, several types of cancer are now a real uh, matter of concern in the community and we hope to address this. In the future, we also um, are hoping we can expand uh, our education and training. Currently, we are uh, a recognized uh, internship center where we accept freshly qualified doctors for one year of internship before they are licensed to practice on their own. We, um, we currently uh, receive at least 8,000 visits in our outpatient services. We have um, 200 bands and we have um, um, major innovations. During this uh, past 18 months, when we have had the pandemic um, ravaging the entire world, we have actually um, done well in partnership with um, the county government where we have continued to care for COVID patients who do not need ICU care. Um, we also have the comprehensive care center where we take care of more, nearly 3,000 people who are living with HIV AIDS and we also uh, provide palliative care services for people who have long-term illness such as cancer and other ailments. We are really thankful for the continuing um, uh, support that we have received from partners, the Methodist Church, individual friends and um, other, other organizations. 